what's going on guys Tony here again how to replace a battery in short battery has two connections negative which is ground has the negative symbol just one dash okay and the positive which is a cross usually marked with red and you have your battery hold down which is that bracket I think that's a 10 12 millimeter bolt and that battery is gonna come right out this bracket's intended to keep the battery in place so when you go over bumps it doesn't jump all over the place and thus expanding the life of the battery so we're gonna go ahead and remove that 10 millimeter it looks like this battery has been jumped before uh, we're gonna remove just loosen it up and then wiggle that connection out and pull it off to the side. I like to hold it over with a zip tie or something to prevent making contact. Again, you always disconnect the ground or uh, also known as the negative terminal on the battery. We have enough slack to throw this over there to the back, make sure it doesn't make contact with this battery over here. If you have a rag or something, a shop towel, you can put it on there. If you have the new battery, you can use the old cap from the positive side, put it on the ground. If this comes back, it will not make contact and won't wake up the modules again. What we've done here, now we move on to the positive side. It's gonna be this one here. We're gonna loosen that 10 and repeat, wiggle left and right. And there it goes. Now we're gonna get an extension in our 12 mil uh, and it should come right out. tight fit here and our battery will come right out hey look Pepwee's battery put the new one in there Now we're gonna do it in reverse order. Positive goes first, black always goes in last. When you're removing a battery, you always disconnect black first or ground or negative. When you are putting it back in, you always connect negative, also known as ground or black, last. Does that make sense? Squeeze down. Make sure that it's well seated. And here's a little tech tip. You just install that battery. You're not just gonna go and crank that motor, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna put the key on and wait for about 10 to 15 seconds. That gives all the modules enough time to wake up before you go ahead and crank it. So I'm gonna let that vehicle sit for about 10 seconds with the key in the run or on position, then go back off and then start it. And that's how you replace the battery.